back when I was in sin, when I knew that I had an enemy, there were certain things that I would do or I would have it in a way where if my enemy would do anything wrong to me, I would have something set up to where if that person did me wrong, I was going to do something worse than what they did to me. And I would think about the different things that I could do to that person to really hurt that person to the point where they would not mess with me or if they did mess with me again, they would think very hard and long <laughs> before they would mess with me again. You see, let me not say that. Because back then I was worried about people doing me wrong. You know, I did not like to lose per se, as in the things that I would gain if someone was to do something evil to me, I would lose something. So what came to my mind, hey, if I lose something based upon what you did to me, your loss is going to be greater than I and it is going to hurt you a lot more than me to show you like, hey, I am not playing around with you. That was the sinful me. What do I do now and what should you do now as well? This is why when I make these videos, I am not trying to make myself seem like all my life I did the right thing. No. <laughs> As you can see, and I am just telling you parts and pieces. So I never try to put myself on a pedestal or trying to make myself look better than you and stuff like that because I know how it is to be in sin. I know that how it feels to want to get out of sin, but you feel like you can't. I know how that feels. So this is why I want you to listen to what I am saying and do what I say based upon what the Bible is saying. What do I do now? When my enemies say, do, or whatever, trying to hurt me, trying to harm me, have this attitude against me for no reason at all, for absolutely no reason, or if I did something wrong, What do I do now? I pray. We know that God is not going to consider your prayer if you are in sin. So what I do and what you need to do too, even if you believe that you have done nothing wrong, repent of your sins anyway. God, I don't know what sins I have, but hey, if I have any sins, God, please forgive me of them. God, please forgive me of all my sins. Even if you don't believe you did not do anything wrong, you don't want your prayers to be hindered. Repent. What did they do in order to speak to God or have God intervene in their lives back in the Old Testament. They would sacrifice animals. Ever since Jesus Christ died, we don't have to sacrifice any animals to, to uh, speak to God. We don't have to sacrifice any animals. All we have to do is repent. How would you like 
every so often having to kill goats and birds and all of these animals just because of your sin, how would you like that? That would be really annoying after a while. All you have to do is repent because Jesus Christ, because of his sacrifice, all we have to do is repent. So repent before you pray. Repent before you pray. Repent before you pray. Repent before you pray. Myself, I can do right all day long, but when I pray, I am going to repent. And many times before I eat, perhaps not every time, I pray, I believe I repent, then pray before I eat. And I am not trying to make myself seem like I am this devoted person or whatever else, no. I know that God is real. I know God is powerful. This is why I include him in my life all day long. Anyways, when someone does me wrong, what you should do, what I do, I repent and I pray about what happened. Like, God, I don't know what is going on. This person is mad. I don't know if there was something that I said or done, but God, blah, 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 blah. I pray to God about what happened, asking him to fix it, and he fixes it. So I don't have to go out there, as I stated before, thinking and contemplating what can I do to this person if they do evil to me? As in, what evil can I do to them once they do that evil toward me? I don't have to think about cutting a person's tires. I don't have to think about breaking a person's windows and <laughs> all of this other stuff. I don't have to think about those things. I don't. I just pray because, look, I say this many times. You are going to reap what you sow. So when you do evil to a person, evil is going to come back to you. So it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Going back to prayer. I was praying for, you know, I pray for quite a bit of people, but this one person around a certain time period, I was focusing much prayer on this person. And what I prayed for came forth. I received what I prayed for when I was praying for this particular person. Look. We have to understand that there are demons everywhere. The more I elevate in God, the more I notice how demons have their hand in almost every issue of life. It is crazy. So it is not the people that are your enemy. It is the demon that is your enemy. But you are trying to fight demons with human means. It is never going to work. Never. You fight demons with prayer. Go on a fast for three days or more. You can't fight a uh, spirit with human means. For instance, I can't punch, well, I can't take a gun and shoot a demon right now, right? No. 
because a demon is not human. I pray that makes sense there. You fight spiritual things with spiritual means. You can't take anything natural and fight it with a spirit. I pray that makes sense. So, let me stop here. God bless.